Voice XML from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. This recording was last updated on October 29, 2011. Voice XML, or VXML, is the W3C standard XML format for specifying interactive voice dialogues between a human and a computer. It allows voice applications to be developed and deployed in an analogous way to HTML for visual applications. Just as HTML documents are interpreted by a visual web browser, voice XML documents are interpreted by a voice browser. A common architecture is to deploy banks of voice browsers attached to the Public Switched Telephone Network, or PSTN, to allow users to interact with voice applications over the telephone. Contents Section 1 Usage. Section 2. History. Section 3. Future versions of the standard. Section 4. Related standards. Section 1. Usage. Many commercial voice XML applications have been deployed, processing millions of telephone calls per day. These applications include order inquiry, package tracking, driving directions, emergency notification, Wake Up, Flight Tracking, Voice Access to Email, Customer Relationship Management, Prescription Refilling, Audio News Magazines, Voice Dialing, Real Estate Information, and National Directory Assistance Applications. Voice XML has tags that instruct the voice browser to provide speech synthesis, automatic speech recognition, dialogue management, and audio playback. To see an example of a Voice XML document, please see the Voice XML Wikipedia page. Typically, HTTP is used as the transport protocol for fetching Voice XML pages. Some applications may use static Voice XML pages, while others rely on dynamic Voice XML page generation using an application server like Tomcat, WebLogic, IIS, or WebSphere. Historically, voice XML platform vendors have implemented the standard in different ways and added proprietary features. But the voice XML 2.0 standard, adopted as a W3C recommendation on 16 March 2004, clarified most areas of difference. The voice XML forum, an industry group promoting the use of the standard, provides a conformance testing process that certifies vendors' implementations as conformant. Section 2. History AT&T, IBM, Lucent, and Motorola formed the Voice XML form in March 1999 in order to develop a standard markup language for specifying voice dialogues. By September 1999, the form released Voice XML 0.9 for member comment, and in March 2000, they published Voice XML 1.0. Soon afterwards, the forum turned over the control of the standard to the W3C. The W3C produced several intermediate versions of VoiceXML 2.0, which reached the final recommendation stage in March 2004. VoiceXML 2.1 added a relatively small set of additional features to VoiceXML 2.0, based on feedback from implementations of the 2.0 standard. It is backward compatible with Voice XML 2.0 and reached W3C recommendation status in June 2007. Section 3 Future Versions of the Standard Voice XML 3.0 will be the next major release of Voice XML, with new major features. It includes a new XML state chart description language called SCXML. Section 4 Related Standards The W3C Speech Interface Framework also defines these other standards closely associated with Voice XML. Section 4.1 SRGS and SISR The Speech Recognition Grammar Specification SRGS, is used to tell the speech recognizer what sentence patterns it should expect to hear. These patterns are called grammars. 
Once the speech recognizer determines the most likely sentence it heard, it needs to extract the semantic meaning from that sentence and return it to the voice XML interpreter. This semantic interpretation is specified via the Semantic Interpretation for Speech Recognition, SISR, standard. SISR is used inside SRGS to specify the semantic results associated with the grammars, i.e., the set of ECMA script assignments that create the semantic structure returned by the speech recognizer. Section 4.2 SSML The Speech Synthesis Markup Language SSML, is used to decorate textual prompts with information on how best to render them in synthetic speech. For example, which speech synthesizer voice to use, or when to speak louder or softer. Section 4.3 PLS The Pronunciation Lexicon Specification PLS, is used to define how words are pronounced. The generated pronunciation information is meant to be used by both speech recognizers and speech synthesizers in voice browsing applications. Section 4.4 CC XML The Call Control Extensible Markup Language, CC XML, is a complementary W3C standard. A CC XML interpreter is used on some voice XML platforms to handle the initial call setup between the caller and the voice browser, and to provide telephony services like call transfer and disconnect to the voice browser. CCXML can also be used in non-voice XML contexts. Section 4.5 MSML, MSCML, Media Control In media server applications, it is often necessary for several call legs to interact with each other for example, in a multi-party conference. Some deficiencies were identified in Voice XML for this application, and so companies designed specific scripting languages to deal with this environment. The Media Server Markup Language, MSML, was Convedia's solution, and the Media Server Control Markup Language, MSCML, was Snowshore's, which is now owned by Dialogic. These languages also contain hooks so that external scripts, like Voice XML, can run on call legs where IVR functionality is required. There is an IETF working group called Media CTRL, Media Control, that is working on a successor for these scripting systems, which, it is hoped, will progress to an open and widely adopted standard. You have just finished listening to Voice XML from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This recording was last updated on October 29, 2011. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by SA slash 3.0.